Hello everyone and welcome back to the breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install the Valhessia 2 mod pack for a Minecraft room. We're going over every single step of getting this mod pack installed from, you know, getting it with the Twitch app and installing it and running it and adding more RAM to it and all that. It's all going to be covered in this video. First and foremost, though, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. If you want to set up a Valhessia 2 mod pack server so you and your friends can actually play this mod pack together, check out Apex, the first link down below, the breakdown at XYZ slash Apex. They allow you to set up this server in just one click and it's super, super easy. That's have one click setup of hundreds of other mod packs as well as paper servers, spigot servers, all sorts of different kinds of Minecraft servers over there. We actually love them so much that we have our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So again, if you're looking for a great place to host a Valhistia 2 mod pack server with your friends, check out Apex, the first link down below. That's the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get this mod pack installed. The first thing you want to do is actually go to the second link down below. That's going to take you here. This is our in-depth overview or a complete guide of the Twitch app. It goes over kind of everything here, all the basics and stuff. However, once you're here, what you want to do is just click on this yellow download Twitch button. That'll take you off to Twitch's official website where, once you're here, you want to click on the download for Windows button here under the Twitch app for Windows. So Twitch app for Windows, click on the download for Windows button, and that will go ahead and start the download off pretty much right away. Might take a second and then it will start, but nevertheless, the download will start. And as we can see, it actually, it did download, but it didn't pop up for some reason. So if we minimize our browser here on our desktop, we can see that these are downloading here. So I'm just going to go ahead and let these download. Once these downloads finish, I will see you after a quick jump cut. So there we go. As we can see, they have both downloaded here. We just need one of these, though. So boom, there we go. We also can see on Google Chrome, they did start downloading. It was just delayed for a second, so clicked that and had to wait, like, probably 30 seconds before it actually finished downloading. But nevertheless, minimize our browser. Here's the Twitch setup that we downloaded it right there. All you want to do is double click on that Twitch setup. It's then going to open up the, uh, you know, kind of installer here for Twitch. Just click on the purple install button. It's going to go through, download some things, set some things up, get everything working, and then it will open up the Twitch app once it is all said and finished. Now, one thing I will say, I'm going to be able to probably click continue here. You will need to log into your Twitch account. If you don't have a Twitch account, create one. You have to have a Twitch account in order for this to work. So go ahead. For me, click Continue. Oh, I need to log in. Let me log in my Twitch account. Once I log in, I will see you to uh, continue on with the tutorial. All right, so here we are on the Twitch homepage. Yours is probably going to look different from mine. By homepage, I mean the Twitch app homepage here. But as you can see, got some stuff over here, all that. But you don't care about any of this. All we need to do is click on the Mods tab up here at the top of the Twitch launcher. Then we want to find Minecraft in this list. Mine's lit up. Yours probably won't be. It'll be grayed out. Click on Minecraft, and then when you do, you'll see like a purple button that says install. Click on that purple install button, and then you'll land on this page, right? So find Minecraft, click on it, click on that purple install button, and then you'll land here. Once you're here, you want to go over and click browse mod packs, and then, whoa, right there it is, right up top. But just in case it's not there right away, come over here into the search box right here and type in Valhelsia. Right, like so, and there it is, Valhelsia 2, right here. Go ahead and click on the install button, that purple install button there, and it will go ahead and install the mod pack. It's that simple and that easy to get the mod pack downloaded or starting to download, right? Now, once we launch in game, I'm gonna up the RAM, I'm gonna show you how to upgrade and add more RAM to this mod pack because it kind of doesn't need it. But yeah, this is a really, really cool mod pack. It's a 1.15.2 mod pack. It kind of mixes everything together, you know, and, and is almost somewhat like a kitchen sink sort of a mod pack. But yeah, overall, really cool mod pack. It's gonna take quite a while to download. I mean, minutes upon minutes, maybe even 15, 20 minutes for some people to download, maybe even longer. I mean, there's hundreds of mods involved. So we're gonna let this download, let this get installed. And then once it is completely finished, we will be able to jump in game. So I'm gonna go ahead, do a quick jump cut, let this install, see you after. So there we go, Valhissia 2 has now downloaded. How do we know that? Well, it's no longer installing there and has no longer has a progress bar, but also it now has this purple play button that has appeared on it. You can go ahead and click that purple play button to start up Valhissia 2. However, I do wanna mention when you wanna play this mod pack again, it's gonna be over here on this My Mod mod packs tab right so right here it is so you can click on my mod packs as well and click play here to open it either way it's going to open the same thing but still it's cool to have two methods now once you first log in here you're going to actually see this right so the first time you open up the hesia 2 you are going to see this which is the minecraft launcher login page and that's because this is the default minecraft launcher so go ahead and enter in your login information for minecraft and then once you do we'll be able to log on in and play the mod pack there we go we have now logged in here and as you can see down here in the bottom left we do have Valhessia 2 if you don't have that Click on that little drop-down box there and then click on Valhessia 2. If it's still not there, close out of the launcher, 
click play button back here in the Twitch app again, and then it should be. However, how do you add more RAM to this? Most mod, most mod packs do need more RAM. So let's go ahead and click on this installations tab up here. You'll have Valhalla 2. Hover over that and click on the three dots over here, and then click on edit. Then, if you want to add more RAM, click on more options, and then finally, down here, you can see that it has, by default, 3 gigabytes, which is 3,200 megabytes of RAM. We're going to go ahead and upgrade up that to 6. You probably don't need more than 4-ish gigabytes of RAM for this mod pack, but I'm going to go ahead and up it to 6 just to be safe. Then, we can come back over here to play, make sure Valhessia 2 is selected, and then click play. And now, Valhessia 2 is going to open up in Minecraft 1.15.2. Yes, this is a 1.15.2 mod pack currently. I might change in the future, but yes, it's going to now open up. So, Basically, it's going to take a while. That's how mod packs are, right? It took a while to download. It's going to take a while to start up. It's going to take a while to download this. Basically, it's downloading some Minecraft files that it needs to start up. So it's going to take a while. Every single part of this process takes a long time, and that is because it is just part of modded Minecraft. You're adding a lot of things to Minecraft. You're, you know, basically changing a ton of stuff in game. And when you do that, it's going to take a while. It's going to take a while to things to, you know, set up, things to install, things to download. It's all going to take a while. But as you can see, that download is now finished and it is opening up here. As you can see, we are installing all of these different mods. I mean, so many mods. I can't even keep up. I don't know how many are in this mod pack. I think around 100. Since this is 1.15.2, there isn't many options for mods. But what's cool about that is they are constantly updating it and constantly getting new mods out, which I do like to see. So here we are. We are now opening things up. And as you can see, constructing 143 mods. Pretty impressive, again, for a 1.15.2 mod pack. It's going to take a while to open things up, by the way. And I'm going to try to see if I can't make this, like, go not responding or something like that. But basically, if it does go right here, not responding, it looks like this or something, no worries. Just sit and wait. Boom. There you go. As you can see, we sat, we waited, and it just fixed itself. So that's what you want to do. I'm actually going to go ahead and make this larger. That way, whenever we get in-game, we will be able to, you know, kind of see things better. And yeah, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and let this start up. It could take minutes upon minutes upon minutes to start up. I don't know how long this mod pack is specifically going to take, but it could take up to 15 minutes for some mod packs to start up. Also, if you do have a crash, if you do have an issue during opening up of this mod pack, you want to add more RAM. You've ran out of RAM during the process. As you can see, we're getting up to about 2,500 megabytes of RAM being used currently to get this mod pack set up. So if it crashes, if you have issues, that is why. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and let this finish starting up, and I will see you after a quick jump cut. So here we are. The mod pack has started up. As you can see, Valhessia 2 powered by Valhessia Team. Awesome stuff. We click on mods here and see all of the different mods that were added. I mean, there's quite a few there. And we can also see down here in the bottom left, 143 mods loaded. You can go into options and click on controls as well and see all of the different controls that have been added. I would recommend checking this out. It's always something you should do whenever you download a mod pack is go through and look at all the controls. However, for now, we are going to be jumping straight into a new single player world. Just jump in and creative, because why not? I'll let this world start up, and then once it's loaded up, I will see you after a quick jump cut. All right, so we have now loaded in here. We can see we basically can left click on that and get our starter kit there now one thing i will say i wasn't creative so i had kind of unlimited of these but basically you have to seem to like get blueprints to unlock things in this mod I, mod pack i will say one thing i uh, don't know much about this mod pack that's my own fault it was a request and uh, i was like hey i can you know do how to install that but i didn't look much into what the mod pack is so the fact you have to at least it seems like unlock blueprints to craft things i'm all about that that is really really cool to me and something truly unique to this mod pack so anyway i'm gonna go ahead and sign off here if you're interested in an incredible minecraft server come play with us at play.breakdowncraft.com that is a golden chicken anyway come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com if you're looking for an incredible factions survival or skyblock server we've got all three they're absolutely incredible 100 custom and you will truly Really love it. So come play with us again. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP, and I cannot wait to see you online. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.